this is a, a little off the subject of Vienna, yep. but I wanted to ask if you could just talk a little bit about what it was like to be a CIA. Oh, writer. okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, first of all, I was what they call over. It's COVID over. Okay. Okay. I, I can say these things. Um, you had the the COVID, which is spies, and of course you knew a lot of these people, but I never heard the term spy. That was a thing that just did her ages. Case officers, never spies. Um, you work closely with, of course, in the library, I had to service those people. And uh, uh, being over it, uh, I could say my work, but of course you couldn't say what you did. I was in the uh, documents libraries for many years. Um, again, before they had computers, and I, uh, I had good memory. And then I was in charge of the documents part. Actually, I had the term librarian. But then, oh, a few years, I was a few years in, and this guy came over and said, I said, Frank, I'd like we start a new operation. I wonder if you'd be interested in joining us. And I said, I said, I, I felt comfortable with what I was doing. I was at headquarters. We'd already moved to headquarters, and I had, had my own little kingdom, so to speak. I felt comfortable. I knew what I was doing. And, and when you have a family, you don't want to take any chances. That guy turned out to be the aerial photography starting in a U-2 program. U-2 was a, a plane full of the Soviet Union, the top secret thing, and later shot down Gary Powell's, I don't know whether you've, you've studied that history, almost called World, World War III to start. President uh, Eisenhower was in charge. And um, so uh, uh, I worked with the uh, photographic people quite a bit. I gave them support. And uh, so I finally, I could see that I was hitting a stone wall so far as getting promotions. I needed a, a library science degree. And uh, they needed me, they uh, kept asking me to come over. They needed some uh, expert documents. At that time, we were still, uh, I'm kind of brushing the subject. We were still finding new things, put that way. We found a, uh, what is a, a biological warfare plant, chemical warfare. What does it look like? You know, um, because these guys are trying to see, identify other things over there. They knew the missile sites, you know, ICBM site, uh, uh, SA, uh, 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 surface air missiles. You knew all these things. You knew tanks and all the port of battle type stuff. But they were unique things, and so they needed somebody like me to, to get the what it should look like. So they needed documents, and so that was that was my expertise, and so uh, I did that. And then I learned that later, over a period of time, I, uh, the, the documents had to be classified, and certain people authorized to see them, and, and it's my job to assign the classification and various limitations on it. Stuff. And uh, so, a very interesting job. I was always, uh, always very proud of the way I had the hard working people. They, that's the thing that when you hear the things talk about government workers, boy, they don't realize what the hours that you put in. And I sometimes put in 20 hour day, 20 hour days, go home and get a couple hours sleep, or sometimes sleep in the car and get right for it. Uh, so it was it was interesting work. 